Yo, 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 yo. just a man and his son, man like Rubes. Boy like Rubes. So today we have Journey Part 3. Three. What do you know about Journey Part 3? So for those who haven't watched Journey 1 and 2, you need to go watch that so you understand where we're coming from and what this is about. It's on YouTube, go check it out, just on the man and his son channel. So, left you last week on... A little bit of a cliffhanger. As they call it. I got a knock at the door. Remember I said 9pm, boom, Sunday night, got a knock at the door, just prepping all my things from work for work for the next day. Get a knock at the door, look out the window, I had like a, remember the window? Like yeah, a, like the big one. Yeah, like yeah, that, really. and pulled the blinds and I seen him at the window. Um, And her car outside, and the boot open. I'm thinking, what the blood? Nah, mm. I go on your Sunday night, the boy should be in bed. You get me? Anyway, um. I've opened the door, I'm like, well, go on, son. He's like, he's just walked in. Like, yes, dad. Walked in with bag and things. So I'm like, oh, what's going on? She's come to the door now and she's like, I'm moving to Blackpool on Wednesday. Um, he's staying with you? Yeah. Just like that. I'm like, bruh, okay. Just clearing out things. No discussion about it, no nothing. Just she was clearing out things out the boot on some erratic thing and said he's staying with you. So I was like, all right, cool. So... Boy, I look tired, you know. This is what happens when you've got a newborn guy. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So, he's coming now. And I've sat down with him. I'm like, he's got all these things have come. And we're living in... I'm living in this one-bedroom flat. And I'm like, Rah, son, so you're going to live with me now? And you're like, yeah. You was, you was, I don't know. I don't know what you were like. It was like... You were shocked. And then you was like, Rah, I'm living with my dad, yo. So, then, the next day now, I had to get you to school. Didn't have no car. So I had to walk into school and then to go to work late, but I had to ring my boss at like, I think it was half six in the morning and tell him the situation. Um, obviously that day... Do you know how mad that would sound if he was a boss? Oh yeah, basically, yeah, my son just come to live with me late yesterday, yeah, so yeah, so, yeah, school. school, yeah. Um, so then I got to work after half nine, sat down with him, told him where I go on, he let me leave at, I think it was quarter to three that day so I could get up to school to pick you up. But they said going forward they couldn't do that. So I had to qu quit my job. Mm. So we was living in this flat. We didn't have no car, not much P car, not working. Um, kind of sticky, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, and then we sort of went through struggles. Obviously, we 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 managed it with son. Yeah, like we, we, we had the f we had fun in it. Like we watched movies. And yeah, that. yeah, we still tried to keep things normal. But living in a one bedroom flat with a boy, that's. You were six at the time. Mm. I was jumping around and he's got bare clothes and toys and I've got all my stuff. That cold bathroom. Yeah. It wasn't that, nice. That bathroom wasn't good. Yeah, man. and it wasn't nice. And for me, I just thought, well, why? You know how I'm... How I'm I only got that flat around the corner to stay close to you and to work. Mm. Um, And how could that person put you in that predicament? Do you know what I'm saying? So we managed to anyway. Um, And then... How long ago? How long after was it, it when was she came like, back up to West Yorkshire? Uh, what long were it? No, it was like a few months. I thought two months. Yeah, come back up to West Yorkshire now. Um, things must have gone south down in Blackpool, or wherever the, the hell it was, and moved to another part of West Yorkshire now. So I got back in contact with well, Tech Rems. Um, so Rems started going again. Mm. Um. It was, was it every week, every other weekend you yeah, were going, innit? Yeah. So it started going towards every other weekend. You were doing all right with it. I think one day during the week she used to pick him up from school. So I had a little free time to myself, which to me at the time was just like, yo, breathing space. I've been this full-time parent for so long. I'm just still adjusting and all the rest of it. Um, by then we had a new, a bigger house, didn't we? We had, um, a two, we got a two bedroom house, so... Um, he had his own room, I had my own room. It was just lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. Remember, we had space, we had a garden. Yeah. It was right next to the school he went to, so all that pressure was just relieved for yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, that was sick, yeah. That yeah, was sick. you get what I'm trying to say? Like, literally, door stepped in, out, door, school, back. And we used to go play football every evening and run around. Mm. That's when he was younger and had more energy and what I needed tiring out more. Now he's just my computer and just going out with his brethren them and phone and everything there. They just grow up quick, don't they? 
So yeah, um, that was happening. <clears throat> and he was going every weekend, every other weekend, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, one day yeah, during yeah. the week. And it was working fine. And then one day, I was at the top of my stairs. I remember it right. I just remember it like it was yesterday. And I was hanging some towels on the banister. Mm. And I got a voice note off you, but on off her number. Uh, do you remember? What the, do you remember what the voice note said? No, what? You sent me a voice note saying, "Ha ha, Dad, I'm um, I'm living. With, I'm gonna live back with my mum now, and there's nothing you can do about it." Ha 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 ha. Really? Yeah. And then I was like, what? "Was I was I forced to say that or not?" Yeah, I think so because the way you said it, it wasn't you. Do you know what I'm saying? I know you. I. So I, you wouldn't have said that. You would have said something else. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, right. and then there was voice notes of her saying, it, it said that there's no, there's no food in the fridge and you don't, and your mum had to buy him some trainers because you couldn't afford it. Now, let's just get this out there now. That's his grandma. His grandma wanted to buy him a pair of trainers that she saw for him. Why would I say no? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're in it. <laughs> then I buy this stuff all the time. Yeah. Do I say no? And there's no food in my fridge. Hold on. What's the one thing you always make? What yeah, I make sure me. you do eat food. Because if I had no food, yeah, then I'd have starved. Right. So made up all this facade, but the problem with that was, then she blocked my number. Mm. Your phone. She took your phone, so you couldn't charge your phone. Yeah. And I didn't know where she lived. So. The next well, day. The thing is, well, the thing on. is, yeah. If I wanted to do all this and that, yeah, how come she took my phone? Yeah, no, this is the thing. I mean? Yeah, this is the thing. Exactly, to keep you away from me. You get me? Um, so, come in a bit. Come in a bit. Come in. So, so, yeah, so... Um, That's better. The next day now, I've rang school to see if he's turned up at school. And, oh, in fact, one of the voice notes says she's taking him out of school and she's going to homeschool him now. So, next day, I rang up school and told school the situation and they said there's nothing they can do legally to stop her from taking him out. And she took him out of school. Literally just took him out of school and just took him. So I, I, I remember one night I just broke down fam, I was like bawling like a girl fam, bawling, no trust me, because I thought he's in a situation that I know he didn't really want to be in, I can't find him, what do I do? So I think it was a period of six to seven weeks mm. where I didn't see him, didn't hear from him, nothing, and then out the blue, I can't remember what... I can't remember the madness that happened, but some sort of madness happened where I had to come for you. Mm. I remember you sent me the address. You got the address for me. Right, let me think back. I'm sure you rang me off her phone or text me off her phone with the postcode of a letter that you found or something because you want me to come and get you. Mm. And I came over. I can't say his name on camera, but with my brethren, the same brethren that took you over that time. And she didn't answer the door and he came back and beat with your punch bag. Mm. Remember the brethren that mm. took me? He took me over to come and get you. I remember it. So, yeah, I think, see, this is how smart you was from young. You didn't even realise. You you knew that I couldn't get hold of you. So, you sent me the postcode and the number, the door number. Mm. I remember it. And I went, and we was there in 20. Um, I remember that. So, it was about six, seven weeks. Then, why? That six, that six, seven weeks was probably the hardest six, seven weeks of my life because... I was lost for the first time in my life. I was lost. Mm. Like, literally lost. Didn't know what to do. I was like, Rah, this is his mum, though. Why is she doing this? Yeah, innit? You know what I'm saying? And also, we've spoke about this before. If you're not comfortable with certain things that I say, nah, yeah, we just come out. You know what I'm saying? But it, it made me think, right, I need to now know my son's in a certain... I won't say danger, but is at the risk of certain things going in. So I need to then put things into place, protect you, make sure you're good. Then got him back probably another six weeks before I got into school. So you missed months of school, but I was homeschooling you the best I could. But I made, I think I remember. I am smarter um, than you now. Yeah, obviously. My brain cells are fried, fam. Um, <laughs> I, baked. I remember um, I tried to when you came back to me you want yourself so I tried to make it normal so during the day we didn't do much learning we did more fun stuff showed you how to make popcorn chicken showed you how to use the washer showed you how to iron and them things there um, I remember the night you came back we sat there and you literally sat there like this and you hugged me for about an hour Probably longer, bro. Didn't even move. We didn't say no. We were just mm. like I embraced to say, "Rah, man's back at home, and I'm not gonna let this happen again." And I'll tell you something. <clears throat> as a dad, 
<clears throat> and as a parent, see, look, it, it makes me, when I think about it, man, all I ever want to do is protect my kids. And when you, when there's something you can't control and can't protect your kids, it's like, wow, what a, what a, what a, what a situation, mm. what a, I've let my kid down, I've let myself down. I, I was in bits for time after that. Didn't know what to do. Yeah, because it was, it was tough. Um, so then, after that now, I would be, I, I, I could imagine, yeah, I probably would be confused, didn't it? Because I, yeah. I was like a little kid, yeah, moving from like house to house and that, yeah, and like mad. Taken out of school and put mm. back in school, then taken, uh, taken here, taken there. Do you remember my teacher? She was like, oh, me, come back from all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they missed you though, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then what else? I forgot where I got to. So, yeah, everything was going crisp. And then, um, where did we move to after that? Oh, I got a car, didn't I? Finally got a car and stuff, started moving up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a car, um, met somebody else. That's when bear drama started again. Yeah, that that's... Do you remember them times? Yeah. So, yeah, bear drama started happening. And then my daughter got conceived. My daughter was born. Do you want to tell them? Are you comfortable with telling them what they what 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 she said about this is right? Yeah. This is what we this is what we do, this is what I don't understand me personally. Right. Me and her parted ways. Yeah. She went about her business. Mm. I went about my business. You then came to me. Yeah. Mm. You're with me for how long now? Yeah. Why are you still vex? Yeah, you get me. What are you vex about that I'm doing a good job? Did you think what did she say? She gave you to me to ruin my life so I won't get no more girl and I won't do this and I won't go out but guess what all you did was improve my life mm -hmm. to make me look at life different I look at life completely different now now that I'm a single parent to you do you get what I'm trying to say mm. so then when my daughter was conceived we, we moved again into a bigger house and she was born and what did she say she was like have a nice life for your ugly baby no how do you say that about a baby you get me? How do you say that? And I'm not here to discredit nobody, but you don't say that about a baby. That is F-worded. Right, exactly. And then, in turn, she was... Before Bella was born, mm. she was telling him, your dad's going to forget about you when the mm. baby's... Remember all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad's going to forget about you when the baby's born. He's going to push you out. Has that ever happened? Nah. Did that ever change? Did our relationship yeah. ever change? We've got the father and son bond. You're my first born. I keep telling you this. You're my first born. Yeah, Nothing yeah, can yeah. beat that. You get me? So, bear drama, noise, abusive texts, messing in and out of Rims' life. Got to the point where we was like, yo, there has to be a cut-off point. Mm, you can't go on like that. No. So, but in the end, it's all come good because look now, he's with me, he's a good lad, he's loved, he's nurtured, he's cared for, he's got everything he wants materialistically. He's got two absolute beautiful siblings younger ones he's also got a good academic record at school he's got a little attitude but you know aren't they all but in know in overall son you know that one thing i am is proud of you because you've gone through a lot i know you're tired you've gone through a lot son and you've had to grow up quick and something you shouldn't have heard something you shouldn't have seen but you've come out of it the other side day to day right let's not come because we're going to finish this journey thing now yeah but let's show these let's t let's show them a bit about what we're like every day we have arguments more or less every day about the same things about him not doing certain things and the way i i go about it so we try different approaches it don't work we go back to the square one but this is a learning curve for us we're father and son we're gonna knock heads because we're so similar you've got to understand he's been with me every day more or less for the last 12 years yeah Oh, before that. Yeah, no, for the, for the 12 years of your life, apart from the odd few months where I didn't see you when she was stopping me, you've been around me constantly, fam. Mm. So you are me, yeah? People call you little rubes all the time, mm. yeah? But he's got his own identity, this is what I rate. You've got, you ain't little rubes, you're rems. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, you get what I'm trying to say? So, <clears throat> nurturing him and growing him has been hard, <clears throat> but it's a journey. That's why this is called a journey, because this is the journey we're on. And we're trying to show our, share our experience. It's been worse than what I think. I've just downplayed it because yeah. I I can't go that deep because for his sake. 
and that's the reason I ain't done it. He's not old enough yet. Maybe in four or five years when you are, because I told you there's certain things I want to tell you when you're older, mm. which I think you'll be able to cope with mentally more than, than you do now. And like, stuff does affect him. Come look, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell the truth. Stuff affects him day to day sometimes. Mm. You might get a reminder, like the other day when you got a reminder. Look what it did to you. Yeah. Certain things unbalance him. And then that unbalances me. That unbalances the household. The repercussions of an absent parent is catastrophic. But they don't realise it. They just think it's, oh, well, yeah. I get I had a kid and nah, 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 I'm not really about. Blah, 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 blah. Stop that, man. It's your youths, mm. man. It's your picnic them. It's your kids for them that don't understand what picnic them means. You know what I mean? So be there for them. I, this ain't easy for me. I'm, you know, sometimes I sit there and I'm like, where am I going wrong with this you? What am I? What have I got to do with this you? And I say to you all the time, I go through turmoil every day with you, son, yeah. and for you because I want the best for you. I don't want you to go down the roads that I went, having to do certain things to make money. You've got the guidance that I never had, bro. And if I could have had anything when I was growing up, it's guidance. Mm. More than anything, guidance and support because that's what you need. Money, yeah, money comes and goes. But support and guidance and real respect and realness around you. Can't beat that, bro. Mm, yeah, true. Is there anything you want to summarise with? Uh, nah, not, not really. Not really. How do you feel about going through this? How do you feel about living with me? How do you feel about this? Yeah, man. No, not just yeah, man. Uh, Express yourself, man. Uh, obviously, yeah. Um, you need to go on your damn better night. Yeah. That's how you are not the place. Uh, yeah, it's, it's helped me a lot, you know. Like, you're, you're like a counsellor, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because I'm trying to... I don't want you to be traumatised, son. Traumatised kids mm. breed damaged adults. And I can't have you as a damaged adult out there, so this is why I put certain things in place. You might not think I'm doing it for the best of you now, but it's for the best of you, for you, for the future. So you see, when you're 19 and 20, you might look back and think, ah, I remember when you said that when I was 12? Mm -hmm. It makes sense now. Do you get me? So, yeah, we have a bond. It's a tight bond. Sometimes it gets a bit sticky, but we... <laughs> The more important thing is, I just love Give him. Give it in my tie on my yeah. chest. Sorry, bro. It's metal. I love him, and that's the main thing. Yeah, man, I love you too. Yeah, so yeah, that's the journey. So, that's the journey done. Part Three parts. We was going to do five, but I've got a lot at the minute. Newborn, next youths, half fear on, food after cook, food after yam, plus everything else that I like to do, extracurricular activities, gym, in fact, that reminds me, you need to come to the gym again. Yeah. Um, so, that kind of concludes the journey. But, I'm bringing out a childhood. So, I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to bring out a childhood series. It will probably be a bit longer. And, for, I'm just going to warn you lot now. For those that are sensitive. For those that don't like heartfelt, like, yeah. sad shit. You're going to see it. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to bow. So, and I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not saying i had a bad childhood but it's the ch childhood that i went the certain things that or i went some through some of you might relate in it so yeah like it yeah some of the things that i went through that's you'll understand why how, how I, I became that teenager how i became the adult and how i am now you get me so look out for that man like rubes over and out just a man and him son <laughs>